hello guys here is shivli and you are welcome to my kitchen today i am going to show you a very simple recipe that is fish curry with curd i made this curry in a very simple way but it's very delicious to eat with boiled rice especially so let's see the recipe here i have taken half kg of tilapia fish and washed them very nicely and after washing drain the water very nicely you may take any kind of fishes here and make this recipe very easily now i am adding 1 teaspoon of salt and half teaspoon of turmeric powder to the fishes actually i am going to marinate the fishes so now we have to mix them very nicely with the salt and the turmeric powder i have washed my hand very nicely properly now i'll mix them with my hand we have to do this very carefully so that the fish hooks don't hurt us so now they are done as you can see now we have to leave them for 10 to 15 minutes before frying so let's wait after 10 to 15 minutes i have put a tawa on induction and added some cooking oil i am spreading the oil very nicely let the oil heat well and after that we will add the fishes so now I am adding the fishes into the pan. I am adding some more oil. We have to wait for some time about 2 to 3 minutes on medium heat until the lower parts of the fishes are fried well. I am not actually gonna make them crispy. I will fry them a little. So now they are fried a little from the lower parts. Now I am flipping them. You may make them crispy if you like but we are going to add them into curry so we don't have to fry them very crispy. So now they are fried a little uh, from the other side also. Now we have to take them out. Here you can see the other side is also fried a little. Now I am taking them out into a plate and keeping them aside and here I have put a curry pan on the induction and I am adding some cooking oil I am adding two spoon two big spoons of oil and I will let the oil heat well and after that I am adding half teaspoon of cumin seeds into the oil two to three dry red chilies I am adding four chilies here two bay leaves and one pinch of asopotida now I will wait for uh, 30 seconds until a nice aroma comes from the spices and the color is changed a little and after that I will add onion here. Here I have taken two big size onion finely chopped and added them. I will fry the onion until a nice transparent color and here you can see that the color is nicely transparent and now we have to add ginger garlic paste but i have taken crushed ginger garlic and i have taken one tablespoon of it as you can see now i am adding it into the onion now we have to fry them until the raw flavor of ginger garlic is gone we have to stir them nicely and after the raw flavor of the ginger garlic is gone now we have to add the tomato puree i have made of two tomatoes two medium sized tomatoes added it and at the same time i'll add some powder spices also i'm adding one fourth teaspoon of turmeric powder half teaspoon of coriander powder red chili powder according to taste we'll mix them properly very nicely And at the same time, we'll add curd here. Here I've taken uh, some more than half cup of fresh curd. I'm adding it. Whisk the curd very nicely before adding. And the curd should not be very sour in taste. Now we have to mix everything properly. I haven't added salt for the gravy yet. So now we have to add salt of course let me mix it properly 
so now I am adding salt to taste I added salt with the fish during frying so we have to remember that and now I am adding half teaspoon of garam masala I am adding half teaspoon of garam masala now and uh, we will add some garam masala uh, at the end of the process also so now we have to cover the pan and cook the spices until oil is released from the spices and the heat was on medium and now you can see that oil is released from the spices so it's ready for adding water for gravy I'm stirring it very nicely now we have to add water for gravy add hot water if possible because hot water makes the curry very tempting to look at so now I'm adding water I'm adding about two cups of water here you may change the quantity as you like according to your choice your wish it actually depends on how much thick you want the gravy to be so add water according to your wish and now mine is done now I'll cover the pan to bring it to a boil here you can see friends that uh, it's boiling very nicely and now it's time to add the fishes here of course the fried fishes that we have kept aside now I am adding the fishes into the curry after adding the fishes we should not stir the curry so much to avoid breaking of the fishes so I have spread them with a nice care as you can see and now I will cover the pan and cook for 10 to 12 minutes before covering the pan I will add 2 green chilies here for a nice flavor I have cut them lengthwise as you can see I have added them and now I am covering the pan and waiting for 10 to 12 minutes and within this time the fishes and the heads of the fishes are very nicely cooked and our curry is almost ready to serve now before turning the heat off I will add some garam masala half teaspoon of garam masala I have added and I will add some fresh coriander leaves they will add a very nice flavor to this curry I am spreading them very nicely so that uh, I don't have to stir them so much so I have added the coriander leaves and at the end of the process I will add some sugar here uh, it's about half teaspoon of sugar you may skip it but it will bring a nice taste very delicious taste to the curry add this little quantity of sugar into the curry and you will of course notice the change in the taste so now I have mixed everything very nicely with a great care and our curry is ready now we will turn the heat off so now I am turning the heat off and after turning the heat off I will cover the pan for 10 to 15 minutes and after that I will serve it and here our curry is it's looking very tempting isn't it you have seen that the recipe is very easy to try and it's very delicious to eat with boiled rice especially so try this simple recipe at home and don't forget to let me know about your experience hit the like button if you really liked the video and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel hope to meet you in the next video thank you so much for watching bye bye take care